Hi, everybody. Russ from My Hammers 11. Hope you're all safe and well. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribing. Hang the bell icon. Why not? So you made it ready time we put new content on. And today I bring to you another episode of Hammers in Hot Water. And today we bring the story of this man, Mr. Florin Radded Bloody Choi. The remaining striker arrived at West Ham for wealth of top flight European experience and fresh from success of Euro 96, having caught Harry's eye during the tournament. Um, it was safe to say that he didn't really set the Premier League alight. Uh, even Radded Choi himself has called the move to West Ham a disaster. But let me take you back to the beginning. Florin was a youth player with Dynamo Bucharest, getting into the first team age 17 in 96, no, 1987, not 67, 1987, the age of 17. In 1993, he moved to AC Milan um, for, but only made seven appearances and was very quickly moved to the Spanish side, RC Espanol. There they are. Um, while before he made the move to West Ham, uh, while at West Ham, Florin only actually made 11 appearances and managed just two goals, although one of them was against Man United. Um, he did have undoubtable, undoubted quality, um, as the finish against Man United showed. Um, but there was moments were basically far and few between. And uh, the manager at the time, Harry Redknapp, became increasingly frustrated with him. Uh, this culminated in him refusing to attend a League Cup tie with uh, Stockport County, choosing instead to go shopping in Harvey Nichols uh, rather than travelling with the team. The incident gave even more gravitas as West Ham were subsequently knocked out of the Cup by Stockport. Although Radachoy did play for the club after the incident, he was, you know, he, he his relationship with Redknapp didn't recover and he was subsequently transferred back to Espanyol at the end of that season. Rada Choi actually is one of only a handful of players to have played in all five European leagues, in the top five European leagues. There we go. Bit of a quiz, quiz question for everyone. Um, it started well. We started well for Florin. Uh, Redknapp records that he worked with him for a couple of hours on the first day of training. And he, mu he must have admitted he was really impressed by Florin. Uh, he was a quality f finisher and uh, he thought he'd be a success. But the moment we got into anything physical, he didn't want to know. He just couldn't face being tackled in any shape or form. Dixie was anxious to get stuck into him to see if it, what he was made of, but Radachoy made it clear he didn't want anything to do with it and he wouldn't be challenging for absolutely anything. Redknapp recalled, Don't ask me to explain how a former world-class player can suddenly become a fairy, but something had obviously happened to Radachoy and he'd completely lost it. He used to be queuing for three hours in Bucharest for a loaf of bread and suddenly he's wearing a £28,000 watch. Perhaps the, perhaps the transition was far too much for him. Other players around the time complained about Radachoy. Um, Paolo Futre confronted him, training one day, calling him a fair, a big girl rather. Then came the no-show um, for the cup game away at Stockport Pound, at County that nobody could get hold of him. Redknapp recalls this incident in one of his, in his autobiography. Um, so um, <clears throat> I said to Ili Dimitrescu, his friend on the day of the match, where is he? Where is Florin? Illy replied, I don't know, he said. Uh, he, and he didn't turn up. It was a bad night all round, to be honest. Um, Ian Dowie hadn't scored for I don't know how many games and had got an own goal. Header in the top corner. Would have been a belt at the right end, but it wasn't, unfortunately. Um, so you can imagine my mood the next day when a friend rang me and told me the previous evening he'd spotted Radachoy out shopping with his wife in Har the Harvey Nichols store in London. He was obviously in big trouble. I don't think he spoke English, to be truthful. He left soon after. Florin, interestingly enough, says of his time at West Ham that he was sorry about what happened. I was an important signing for West Ham at the time, and I remember Harry wanted me a lot, and Eddie Dimitrescu was a good friend of mine and playing there at the time. I made a mistake. I wasn't ready for English football. I had my faults. I should have worked much harder to adapt to the English system. He added, 
it wasn't true about the cup game. I went shopping uh, in terms of I went shopping uh, and left the team without striker. I went back to London with my wife, who was pregnant at the time, to see friends. Then I went to the game to watch the team. I didn't go shopping. <laughs> but with his Premier League career somewhat of a flop, he returned to Espanyol, as I said, with his, with his tail between his legs um, and had short spells at a few European clubs before finally moving to French team, US creditor Lucidona. I still can't pronounce these, which would mark the end of his career. Radichoy, one of those guys, promised so much, but just didn't deliver. It's a shame, isn't it, with those types of players? As you said, he came with a fantastic pedigree, Euro 96, um, Milan, Espanyol, just didn't crack it. And it happens so often. You know, we've had a lot of these ones. Radichoy, obviously, we've had Dani, we've had Boogers, we've had Mogus. A lot of them in the red nap era. Um, but still, it just shows, you know, just a little, and let, you know, I like doing these little sort of four or five minute videos. I found, I found them quite interesting. And, and I love sort of going back and, and looking at incidents that's happened in the past and just saying, you know, sometimes the guy says, no, it's so greeny when you sign certain players, isn't it? You know, it's exciting when we signed 11 players, when we, when we signed Darnie with Boogers and da -da -da, but not a lot of them went, did much great stuff, to be honest, but uh, some did, but some didn't. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. As I said, make sure you hit that bell icon so you made it any time we put new content. I'm on the road to eleven thousand subscribers, so make sure you uh, can help us and join us in our uh, in our quest for eleven. And after that, we do twelve and thirty-four. Percent. It's a never-ending quest. Anyway, take care, one. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Come on, you irons, and I'll see you again very very soon. Take care, my friends.